What's going on, people? Welcome to my match recap for Wednesday night's game. Galatasaray 3, Manchester United 3. We threw the game away. We had advantages at different times of the game being up and gave it away several times. We can still qualify and go through, but it's going to take a lot in terms of other teams losing and us winning and just things going our way to still get through. So it's not looking that likely now that we'll get through, but we still have a little bit of a chance. It's always going to be tough going to Galatasaray, but the way the game panned out, we probably should have won. So it is disappointing. Probably going to be a new Roper again next season. I'm not hugely surprised. I, I did predict that we would get a 1-0 in this because our back was up against the wall, but didn't quite happen. We should have won the game, but we weren't clinical enough and we couldn't kill the game off. I think the game did end on what? Maybe a level, play, level playing field in terms of the fair result, but we probably should have killed the game off having the advantage twice. So very disappointing. Anana for... I feel like he just didn't cover himself in glory. I think he could be doing a bit better with at least one of the goals, if not two. Just doesn't look super confident, not on it really. Four, Aaron Bissaka, I give him a six. I thought he was pretty solid, to be honest. Maguire, six. I thought he was pretty solid. I don't think that he really did a lot wrong. I know they scored three goals, but I don't think it was down to an individual issue with him like it has done in the past. Lindelof 4, I do think he was shaky, made a lot of mistakes I thought, so I like Lindelof but he's not consistent enough, I give him a 4. Luke Shaw was obviously back in and I thought he had a good game, I thought he was solid down the left, so yeah I don't think he did anything wrong on a personal level. Bruno I give him a 7, I feel like he was one of our better players, created quite a bit, don't think he's one of the ones to blame for this result, obviously it's a team sport but I don't think he was as bad this game as he has been in recent months. Anthony, five average. He was okay. N nothing great, nothing special, but nothing terrible. Garnacho six, looked lively again. Ford got his debut goal in the Champions League. He's on a good run of form at the moment and long may it continue. I'm a big fan of him. Six. Hoyland, six. I thought he looked good. He very rarely gets a ton of service, but when he does, I feel like he does make an impact, but it's just getting him that service more. So I think he had a pretty good game. McTominay, four. I felt like he just was just too quiet again. Didn't affect the game enough. I don't think he was involved enough in the game. Um, and Amrabat, I give him a five. I don't think he was terrible. He got hooked off, but I don't under, quite understand why he got hooked off because I thought he was having an okay game. Five. And then the subs, we had Delo, Polistri, Martial and Mainu. I give Delo and Mainu both a five average. I thought they both come on and did a job. And Palistri and Martial, I both give a 4 to because I feel like they didn't impact when they came on. Palistri had a chance and he was a bit sloppy as well. So, yeah, I feel like Martial didn't offer anything. And Palistri could have made a little bit of an impact but didn't and probably should have with uh, a chance he had. So, 4 for both of them. And then Ten Hag, I'd give him a 5 because we didn't lose the game but we should have won it after having the advantage. In a tough place, I know it is, but we were showing that we could cope with it but then just let the game slip by and and ended up drawing the game when when we should have won it so yeah maybe you could give him a below average but yeah, it was away from home it was a tough game but he can't go out and do it for the players so I give him an average man of the match Bruno let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll be back in a bit today when the press conference is done when I've got news about who's fit injuries and stuff who's involved in the squad tomorrow night's game against newcastle so that'll be dropping a bit later today guys have a good one see you in a bit